Welcome to chapter 6, Chemical Equilibrium. We shall continue with Calculate Kc, Kp or quantities of species present at equilibrium. Okay. For this part, we are going to solve more difficult equilibrium problems. So, first, balance chemical equation. And then we are going to use the ice table. And remember, we still need to write the expression for Kc and or Kp. The rest we will continue. Now let's look at this examples given. For these examples, we are I'm introducing the I stable. Okay, I stable stands for initial change equilibrium. It is a simple matrix formalism that used to simplify the calculation in reversible equilibrium reactions. So remember the I stable is for the reversible reaction. So question starts with 0 0.05 molar of hydrogen iodide is inserted into a vessel at room temperature. Calculates the Kc for the reaction below at room temperature. So information is given, but how to put this information into ice table? Now, let's do one by one. So we start off with initial first. And then given molarity, so we use the unit M. It's inserted into a vessel. So this means that 0 0.5 molar of hydrogen iodide is the initial concentration. In the question, it never mentioned the concentration for hydrogen and iodine. Means that there is no product form yet. So this is reactant, this other product. So if there's no mention information given to show that hydrogen and iodine present initially means that they are not formed yet. So we put zero. Now, what happens during the process? Okay, means it's starting to change. The, cons the reactant hydrogen iodide has started to decrease or dissociate. But we don't know how much it dissociate, but we do know that the stoichiometric coefficient is 2 because when we balance the chemical equation, it is 2. For product hydrogen and iodine, the stoichiometric is 1. Therefore, we only plus x. Why do we use plus? Because it started to form or increase. Then we use minus for reactant because reactants start to decrease to change to product. Now, next one. After the changes, it will reach equilibrium. So this is the E. So at equilibrium, we will use initial minus changes. So that is the leftover at equilibrium. So at equilibrium, it is 0 0.5 minus 2x. And then at equilibrium, hydrogen and iodine has been formed. So remember, the expression for Kc, we use the concentration at equilibrium, not initial or change. So first step, write the expression and then we substitute the information from equilibrium. Now let's go for another example. Okay, same thing again. It mentioned ammonia gas and then asked to calculate Kp. So what we do is remember write down the reversible reaction and must have phase. And then it says that inserted inside, so in the initial is 1.5. Then the changes, look at the stoichiometric coefficient. Even that this is produced, hydrogen gas is produced, so it increased by three times. 
So this is the equilibrium uh, pressure where we are going to substitute into the equilibrium constant for partial pressure. So remember again, if there is no information given to show that nitrogen gas and hydrogen gas present initially means that they are not formed yet, so we put zero. Now let's look at another question. It asks to find Kc and Kp. So we can start off with either Kc or we can start off with Kp because Kp equals to Kc RT delta M. Okay, again, same thing. There is no information given on hydrogen and iodine. So there is no product form initially. Now, let's try one question. 0.2 mole of hydrogen iodide is injected into a 0.5 liter flask at 298 Kelvin. Okay, this is important word. At equilibrium, the concentration of hydrogen and iodine is 0.05. Determine the equilibrium constant. C means we are looking for concentration. Okay, so how are we going to start? Now, first of all, write the reversible reaction. And don't forget about the reversible arrow and also the phase. Okay. Next one, we want to know, okay, it's given equilibrium here. So I would straight away write equilibrium of concentration and then I put three lines to represent at equilibrium. So this one is, uh, we don't know yet, it's not given, but it is given for hydrogen and iodine. Okay, then next one, we need to find equilibrium constant. So write down the expression for equilibrium constant. Then we know that we have 0 0.05, 0 0.05 at equilibrium. So what is the concentration of HI, hydrogen iodide, at equilibrium? Okay. So what we need to do is build a ice table. And remember, if the ice table, you are using molarity, then even initial, we must change to molar first. Okay, then you can write like this. You can build up the ice table. Then you can substitute the value. So you have 0, 0 0.05 is the equilibrium and we write down here x. So we know that x is equals to 0 0.05. So we can calculate the concentration of hydrogen iodide at equilibrium. Then after this, substitute all the value into the equilibrium constant expression. Okay, for this part, you don't have to write because I just want to show you that it's product over reactant. Straight away, start from Kc expression. Step 1, step 2, then step 3. Now, let's try an example. Okay, the initial pressure given is 0 0.2 atm in a 0 0.5 liter flask at 298 Kelvin. At equilibrium, it's given 0 0.020. Calculate Kp at 298. Right. So, what we are going to do now is write the, rewrite the reversible reaction. Rewrite the reversible reaction. Then we start to write down information given. Okay, we are going for Kp, so we write down P initial unit is ATM. P change ATM and P 
at equilibrium unit ATM. Now it is given initial pressure is 0 0.20 and then nothing mentioned about initial pressure of oxygen, uh, hydrogen and iodine. Then during changes, hydrogen iodide will reduce two times. Okay, but we don't know how much, so we put X. And then for hydrogen, it's just one mole, so plus X. Iodine is also plus X because of one, one mole. Then at equilibrium, we use initial minus change. Then for product, we just use X. Okay, now next inform important information is at equilibrium. Hydrogen and iodine is the same pressure, so it is equals to 0 0.020 equals to 0 0.020 meaning that our pressure for hydrogen iodide will be 0 0.20 minus 2 times 0 0.020 and we will get 0 0.16 so this is the constant of uh, partial pressure at equilibrium now we are going to look for kp okay so kp first step right now the expression so we have hydrogen gas and iodine gas over hydrogen iodide but we have two here so mean it is power of two so substitute the value the pressure at equilibrium. So it's 0 0.020, 0 0.020, and hydrogen iodide is 0 0.16. So the final answer we will get 0 0.016 without unit because this is equilibrium constant. So I would like to remind again. The important point is, remember, you must know how to read the question and put in all the information. And you must notice, is there any word equilibrium, initial? And then remember, changes is look for the coefficient. Only then we know how much has been increased, how much has been reduced. Alright, so that's all for the ice table example.